Oh, I can take these off. I get so anxious about forgetting to mute like my mic or like turn off my camera when I'm on Zoom. Even if I like end the Zoom, I have to check like 20 times to make sure I actually ended it because imagine if I like pulled out my camera and started vlogging in front of everyone. Like I've seen way too many instances where something like that has gone wrong with people on Zoom. That was my first online class of the new academic year. And I'm gonna be taking you guys through my first day of online school as a junior in college. <laughs> that this video is actually in partnership with CBS Beauty. You guys know I'm a skincare junkie, but I'm also very specific about the products that I choose to use on my face, especially because I have very, very sensitive skin, which is why I'm very excited to be working with CVS on this video because they definitely have a range of products that suit your needs, especially if you have sensitive skin like me. They have such a wide variety. So no matter what type of skin you have, whether it's like oily, dry, sensitive, combination, acne prone, they'll make it super easy for you to find products that suit your specific needs. And especially right now at CVS, you can get super savings on skincare. And the best part is if you spend $35 on qualifying products, you actually get $15 in extra bucks rewards. Skin is already such a sensitive organ to begin with, but on top of that, when you have sensitive skin, it's like half the products in the market just don't sit well with your skin. And I've been dealing with that ever since I was young. Having sensitive skin basically means your skin gets irritated very, very easily and can't handle a lot of the ingredients that are in certain skincare products. It's kind of like a blessing in disguise sometimes because it means that I have to put that extra step into making sure that I'm using the cleanest products that are on that shelf. But at the same time, it can get difficult because you don't know what is irritating your skin, which I'm so glad that they reached out to me because what I've been doing my whole life basically is going through the ingredients list of skincare products and then Googling them and trying to like figure out on my own what's suitable for sensitive skin and what's not. But they just partnered with this new database called SkinSafe. It's an app that allows you to find products at CVS that are suitable for your skin type. So it'll break down beauty and skincare products and their ingredients list. And it just makes it super easy for you to find products that are made without the most common allergy causing ingredients. If you go in store or online, they're gonna have these signs that say sensitive friendly, which is my zone. You just might run into me in that specific section of CVS. So if you're looking for skincare products that fit your specific criteria, download the SkinSafe app. You can search for skincare care products for your skin type that are available at CVS. Make a personalized list of all your favorite products. And then when you go to your local CVS, you can scan those products to see if they're healthy and safe for your skin type. I will not show you guys products that I'm not like stamp of approval on it. So I hope you can trust me. I'm going to be linking all the products that I use in the description box down below. Let's get into it. So this is the Bioderma Sensibio Foaming Gel. This is one of the most gentle facial cleansers I've ever used. Believe it or not, this was the first skincare product that I was ever allowed to use. It cleanses using micellar water, which is like the lightest form of cleansing your face. If you have sensitive skin, you know that feeling of washing your face and then feeling like your skin is just so thirsty and dried out. And that usually happens when the cleanser that you use was a little too heavy on your skin and it actually stripped your skin of all its like natural natural oils and that natural moisture that it has, but micellar cleanses in a way where it moisturizes your skin as it's cleaning it. So after using this, you'll never really feel like your skin is super tight or dry because it's like been stripped off of all that. This was the only thing that my mother would let me use because she was like, you have sensitive skin, you're so young, and this would just fit her criteria. There's no fragrance in it. You should not be using anything that has a fragrance in it. I usually do this step in the shower, but I want to show you guys. I wash my face every single the morning. It just makes you feel so much more refreshing for the rest of the day, especially since today is the first day of school. I needed that extra refreshing, you know what I mean? And I just didn't want to have any crusties on my face in my first Zoom sessions with my new classmates. 
Another very important ingredient that you should have in your skincare routine is retinol. It's an ingredient that helps prevent wrinkles. And if you do have slight lines on your face, it'll actually also help like tighten up your face and just smooth it out a little. But since it is a pretty strong product, you shouldn't go overboard with it. I recommend doing this maybe two to three times a week if you're my age especially. And if you are using retinol and you know that you're gonna be outside, especially if you have sensitive skin, you have to use SPF. SPF should be a part of your skincare routine anyway because the sun and retinol just don't mix very well together and you don't want that to damage your skin. The specific retinol product that I'm using is by ROC and it's just the retinol correction eye cream. This one also helps with dark circles and puffiness around the eyes. Since it is my first day of school everybody, we're again gonna need a little bit of assistance with that. Your eye area is like the most sensitive part of your skin. When you're putting it on it should almost feel like your finger isn't even touching your skin. It should literally just be on it so lightly. When I get out of the shower, I literally lather my body with the Eucerin Advanced Repair Body Lotion, and this is meant for extremely dry skin, and it doesn't have any harsh ingredients, so it's my go-to gentle moisturizer for the rest of my skin. So that's basically everything I do to get ready in the morning. All the products that I use from CVS in this routine will be linked down below if you guys wanna go ahead and check them out. I love this braid. This braid has been my go-to hairstyle recently. Tom just surprised me with the best morning surprise. Do you have any classes today? No classes. I start tomorrow. I think I'm only gonna take two classes this quarter. Spring quarter with school and work, I just felt so like overwhelmed. I'll be able to manage everything I wanted better this quarter. I had that one French class this morning based off of the Zoom and like her introduction to the class. I could already tell that it's gonna be a lot of work. I don't have the capability to do something like that at this moment, so I'm dropping that. And then I have one more class today at 4 p.m. and it's like an introduction to my Calm 88 class. I feel like it really wasn't that long ago that I was like guys I just got into UCSB like come dorm shopping with me like and now I'm doing first day of junior year college vlog like Who is she you know? with lemon pepper I put it on everything right now it's like the best seasoning because I love that like citrusy taste sometimes I'll come out here on my balcony and I'll have my breakfast out here to kind of like get some fresh air outside it's kind of hot today though have some breakfast chill out here do some emails in the mail. I'll explain what it is. If you guys watch my empty apartment room, I have a second bedroom in my new apartment and it looks pretty empty right now. Like there aren't a lot of things here and I want to turn this room into my filming room. So I ordered a whole professional studio set, but the only problem is it's 10 feet wide. Tom is the builder man. He's built basically everything in this house. <laughs> but most of all, he's built up my confidence. <laughs> Yep. These are the first things that I got, basically, the light system. Tom, I have an idea. I had to. Oh, it's really not that bright. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, but I, like with that light bulb, I, I really thought I'd see like a, what's something that's really bright? The sun. The sun. <laughs> this is what they look like. Guess what else just got in the mail? The rest of the studio set up. Today we're actually going to be able to have the whole thing set up. I'll show you what we have. I can hear your little feet. You thought you were going to scare me? I'm trying to escape. What, what are you escaping? Building. Oh. 
plum isn't very enthusiastic about the building process. This white backdrop, this is gonna be in the background of my videos, and then these stands that are gonna go all the way up. It's kind of looking like something. I'm trying to see if this would like fit here, because if it could, this would be such a good use out of this useless wall. It looks pretty good. Obviously, it's really wrinkly, like this is temporary. I just put it down so that it could kind of like release its wrinkles for a little and then I'm probably gonna have to go over it with an iron. Speaking of irons, I don't own one. It just kind of like fit in this wall, so that's nice. We have extra bars if we ever need to like extend it for it to be like a full body shot, but since I film makeup videos like waist up, I feel like this is good enough space. This is a Love Island themed backdrop that <laughs> This was like a 2 a.m. purchase that probably shouldn't have happened, but there's nothing I can do about it at this point. Just finished the second Zoom of the day. Oh my God, am I out of it? I always have to double check for my communication class. And this class is about research methods. I go to a research university, which means my university creates knowledge and how knowledge is created is through experimental studies. We learn about stuff, but then we also create knowledge for future generations to learn, if that makes sense. So I'm in this class that solely focuses on how to conduct a research study. It's not the most fun thing. It's fun being a participant in a research study. If you guys remember my college vlogs from my freshman year I would like go be the guinea pig in a bunch of like experiments like I would have to play video games in a room alone like it, it's fun stuff but being on the other end where I actually have to like create the study and write an eight page research paper about what I found out after doing a study uh a bit of work but that was it those were all my classes for the day thank you tom for what for congratulating me on finishing my first day of school congratulations thanks i'm excited for this quarter my schedule as tom said is skinny changed my shirt because i got a little cold me and tom are about to head out we're gonna go to sweet greens we're gonna get some salad for dinner i didn't really have lunch today i'm low-key starving let's go Salad's on the go, and we're heading back home. Oof, juicy. Look at that glow. We're gonna watch some TV now.